Leo, hello, hello. Maya here and welcome uh, to your um, love reading for October 2021. I'm going to start by doing a quick past spread and then I'll do a spread for you and one for your person. So let's get right into it. All right. Leo, you've got the Page of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Hangman. Let me clarify the Four of Pentacles and the Hangman. Wow, amazing. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Cups, beautiful energies, Leo. In your past spread it looks like in the past at some point uh, your this relationship that you're here about went through uh, some kind of delays uh, a time where it was stagnant where things were not moving and it was for you guys you and your person to gain a different perspective about things it's like you were forced into a state of stillness uh, to be able to reevaluate uh, this relationship or your expectations about love in general, your perspective about love and what you um, want out of a relationship, basically. And uh, it led you guys, either you or your person or both of you, to sort of uh, retreat into, uh, to retreat with your emotions, to keep uh, things close to your chest. Um, maybe uh, there was some kind of financial problem um, <clears throat> some kind of financial issues that uh, maybe uh, uh, were challenging uh, in the relationship uh, or uh, that you were closed off, shut down a little bit with your emotions due to these delays that kept on happening or this change of, of perspective that had to take place. Uh, but it looks like you kept on going, you kept on uh, collaborating, you and your person, with the Three of Pentacles. Uh, you uh, were able to recreate a, a sacred space around uh, <clears throat> this relationship after this challenging time of stagnation. And you were able to rebuild a solid foundation here to collaborate, teamwork with the Three of Pentacles. And there was a renewal of passion between you guys. Um, sort of um, this uh, closed off, shut down um, mode that you were in for a, a long while with the hangman, it sort of dissipated, started dissipating with the page of wands, which really is about, you know, all this fire that you have inside of you, this passion, this motivation for this relationship has been renewed uh, due to um, you collaborating and this teamwork. And now you are at a beautiful place with the Chariot and the Empress, Card of Cancer, <clears throat> Libra and Taurus, two major arcana indicating lots of abundance coming in, the promise of a new life with the Empress. You know, she's pregnant with the promise of a new life. She uh, is about anchoring beauty, uh, abundance and love into the physical with, um, because she's Venus ruled, right? And... Uh, this positive movement forward, this success, this healing that happens with the chariot and just, you know, uh, being able now to move forward uh, after all these delays that happened in the past. <clears throat> and you have the Ten of uh, Cups. Um, beautiful. <laughs> it's really the epitome of a blessed life uh, within a couple. Just rainbow blessings on a couple total emotional emotional satisfaction here and it might have come after a time where yes you were a little bit grieving a little bit depressed uh, due to uh, this long cycle that you had with the hangman and the four of pentacles but now things are moving forward in a beautiful way maybe after an apology was given by one or the other um, so that's in the past let's uh, get into your current energies so Leo, I'm going to do your spread on the right hand side and your person on the left. Please feel free to switch sides if one of them speaks to your situation more than the other because it's uh, interchangeable and it's not gender specific. So let's get into it.
So, Leo, the way you're showing up is the chariot again. Wow. The way you feel about your person is the Ten of Cups. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Beautiful. The Ten of Pentacles and how you think of them. Whoa. And the way you feel about the whole situation. Your major arcana strengths you have. Wow. Beautiful cards here, Leo. For October. And the sun. Your two major arcana showing up in uh, uh, four cards, uh, five cards spread. Wow. This is powerful, Leo. Powerful. <laughs> Let me tell you. Yeah. So I'm going to do your person with a different deck to see mirroring energies between you guys, if there are any. Let me make some space here. Beautiful cards, I mean, whoa. <laughs> okay, so the way a person uh, is showing up is the Nine of Cups. The way they feel about you is the Five of Swords. The way they think of you is the Four of Cups. And the way they feel about the whole situation is the Three of Wands. Wow. Let me clarify the Five of Swords and the Four of uh, Cups here. And bottom of the deck, they have Judgment, New Beginnings in this deck. Wow, this is beautiful, Leo. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so, Leo, you are showing up as the most beautiful energies ever. You are showing up as the chariot. We had that in the past spread. So, you are all about positive movement forward. You're extremely positive in your own life. Uh, it's like anything uh, that was uh, keeping you blocked or uh, any ha uh, hang-ups of the past, any traumas, um, any blocks basically around your love life is completely gone here with the chariot showing up twice in this reading already. You know, integration of light and dark, of yin and yang, divine masculine, divine feminine. This person, it's as above, so below. He has uh, his crown chakra uh, in this canopy of stars and his feet uh, firmly grounded in this uh, chariot box here. And it's just really, really... Um, beautiful movement forward here just healed energies uh, all around and um, it's like you've regained your power around this relationship or around love in general you're very self-confident you know exactly what you want and you're moving ahead without le le letting anything hold you back it's beautiful Leo <laughs> look at that I mean in the way you think and feel about your person you have the two most beautiful uh, tens in the deck, the Ten of Cups showing up again and the Ten of Pentacles. So when we talk about a love relationship, I mean, <clears throat> this is it. <laughs> this is it. Uh, absolute emotional satisfaction and absolute uh, stability, uh, beautiful home life, abundance, a legacy card. It's gener gener generational, so it's like... Uh, you, you are feeling that this is your um, lifelong partner, that this is your person long term. Uh, you think of them, you want to uh, build the whole uh, shebang with them. You want to have the estate, the kids, the the grandparents, the, the pets, the white picket fence, everything. Um, I mean, sometimes we can have the Ten of Pentacles uh, without love. Or the love without the Ten of Pentacles, right? But you have both here, meaning you have the love and you have the stability, the anchoring of all of this in the physical with a whole heap of abundance coming with it as well. Beautiful. <laughs> and look at that. <laughs> in the way you feel about the whole situation, you have strength, your major arcana, and you have the sun, your other major arcana. So you're all about this, uh, if I may say so, and you're just so... Uh, authentic so grounded so real in the situation it's like this is for real this is something that is for real that is meant to be its destiny its fate you are a very uh, again um, 
powerful. Uh, you have completely healed your uh, power center around the situation, maybe after a lot of conflictual times uh, in the past that we saw with, maybe with the hangman and the fourth pentacles where you were shut down and closed off where you couldn't see a way forward, but you kept on nurturing this like nobody's business. And there was a breakthrough, wow, a major breakthrough and clarity, triumph, success again. And the Two of Cups, are you kidding me? I mean, the Two of Cups is this completely healed soul bond, beautiful, beautiful uh, energies of mutual love between divine masculine and divine feminine. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> Leo, wow, so after this conflict and after you having had to be very compassionate and patient, you have get, regained your strength here, you have tamed whatever beasts uh, came up as triggers uh, around uh, this conflict in the past, these delays, um, this inability to express feelings that happened for a long time, this stagnation in this um, relationship in the past, where now you're completely past that, completely past that, all the obstacles again behind this new day, this new dawn, this joy, happiness, life-giving energy that is completely taking over this relationship. I mean, with the chariot, look at that. And the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, this is just... Uh, <laughs> this is crazy uh, good. I mean, crazy good. Um, I, I, I don't know how, how else to say it. It's just... The most positive cards in the whole deck showing up on your side, Leo, for October regarding your love life and this particular relationship you're here about. It's just amazing, all right? So now let's look at your person, uh, the Nine of Cups, they're showing up at the Nine of Cups. So you do represent a wish come true for them, a dream come true for them. Uh, you are they're absolutely uh, in their emotions, uh, absolutely. Uh, wanting this with you, um, you know, uh, this card says, make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time in life, yes, I feel this restoration, uh, this big, big energy of joy here, of positive movement forward in this relationship, it's amazing, it's like a, everything that was keeping you guys blocked in the past, it's just gone, it's, uh, wow, you know, it's gone, and your person is absolutely feeling the love here, showing up as the Nine of uh, Cups. They are feeling absolutely satisfied within their own feelings as well, around you, about you. And um, the way they feel about you is the Five of Michael and so the Five of Swords and clarified by the Ace of Swords. And you have the Ace of Swords on your side as well. I'll get to that in a minute. So maybe uh, coming into October, your person... Uh, was still a little bit conflicted in their mind because of um, whatever happened in the past. I mean, you both have the Five of Swords as a mirror energy, right? And the Five of Swords is ego-based energies. Is when, uh, you know, somebody wants to win at all costs. Um, just being, uh, you know, ready to do anything, basically, any... Uh, any dirty thing or any manip manipulation or mind games to be able to uh, get one over the other and it looks like these energies were uh, uh, present a little bit in your past uh, as we saw in your past spread there was a little bit of that with the hangman because the hangman does take a long time it's a long time where we can't see things progressing at all so it might trigger a jerk <laughs> Uh, knee-jerk uh, reactions like the Five of Swords. So your person might be still a little bit conflicting coming into October, but it's clarified by the Ace of Swords, and you have the Ace of Swords as well. So there's a major breakthrough here, uh, clarity that is being regained, success, um, triumph, being feeling aligned again with uh, this relationship. And knowing exactly what we're doing in this relationship after this time of maybe confusion uh, with the hangman. So the Ace of Swords says, a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. A a absolutely. Your person needs uh, to clear up communication about whatever happened in the past. You guys need to talk. And this is exactly what I see you doing with both of you having the Ace of Swords here. Um, the way they feel about you, uh, they think of you, sorry, uh, is um, the Four of Cups. 
also, again, being hung up on the past a little bit in the way they think uh, of you. Uh, they might have disengaged, and we saw that with the Four of Pentacles as well in the past spread, uh, due to delays, due to conflicts in the past, due to, due to this, trigger, uh, this triggering that happened between you guys for a while. Uh, your person might still be disengaged a little bit. Uh, they also have um, the... Uh, sorry, the um, the devil showing up, and uh, they might have felt uh, that there was a toxic dy dynamic between uh, you guys for a while, which, uh, as I said, the hangman, because it's a long uh, energy, the hangman is not an easy energy, it does take time to get out of it, it, do it does take effort and it does trigger us left, le uh, right, uh, left and center when we are forced to be still for the longest time to change our perspective. So there might have been a toxic dynamic between you guys and we saw that with the Five of Swords. There might have been ego-based energies, uh, harsh words being said, um, maybe uh, codependency for a while. And your person is a little bit... Um, still a little bit shy with their emotions uh, due to um, uh, this toxic dynamic that happened uh, between you guys for a while there. But again, uh, this is nothing big because uh, they have the three of wands in the way uh, they think of the whole situation. So um, it's, uh, you know, they're seeing the, the ships finally coming in in the situation. They're seeing results finally. I mean, the Three of Wands is really a card of seeing results of after a long time of effort and patience. And we see that you both had that uh, and had to um, be patient maybe for a long time while all this challenge was happening between you guys, this flux, this change that happened within this relationship. Well, now they're seeing the ships coming in, they're seeing a change, they're seeing a transformation, they're seeing results. Prosperity, um, prosperity arising from wise planning, time to take the next step, optimistic plans that turn out as expected, exactly. So yeah, they really see the winds turning in the favor of this relationship and they're absolutely seeing that with uh, as well new beginnings, they have judgment, so a new judgment call, something that was uh, maybe dead, dead. Uh, maybe you guys had a very big emotional distance and I think you had at some point, uh, whether you were in separation or not, but you had a very emotional distance, a big emotional distance with the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. But now it's um, Phoenix rising up from the ashes. These beautiful energies of new beginnings between you guys that we can see with the Chariot, uh, with the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Strength card, the Sun, the Three of Wands, the Nine of cups, I mean, whoa, the two aces of swords, as we saw between you guys, I mean, the two aces of swords is really about this big breakthrough that is happening for you guys in October, starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past, yes, it's this communication between you guys, and you are absolutely both going to forgive each other, because the love is too strong here, I mean, this is absolutely amazing. Leo. <laughs> so let me get to a potential outcome for October. I mean, I don't even know if I need to do that because <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful. But let's just do it <laughs> for the heck of it. It's beautiful, really, uh, Leo. Wow. This relationship is uh, going to the next level here whatever the next level is for you. All right. You have the Queen of Swords. The Hierophant, here is this next level. Next level. Um, temperance. And the Six of Wands, are you kidding me? <laughs> the Page of Pentacles, wow, wow, wow. Again, <laughs> ah, really higher level of commitment here. Uh, it could be engagement, it could be marriage, it could be moving in together, it could be any kind of higher levels of commitment. It's time, it's time for this with temperance after a lot of patience. Now it's the right energies, it's the right chemistry, 
It's the illumination around the crown chakra that happened with the hangman that took such a long time, but now it's here with temperance. Uh, this communication is needed between you guys absolutely with the Queen of Swords. Uh, you absolutely, guys absolutely need to clear the air and communicate very, very um, clearly about whatever happened in the past. And the Six of Wands, another card of success, of recognition, of triumph. This is so positive. And we have the Ace, <laughs> wow, the, the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So you're offering each other this uh, cup of love without holding back. No more Four of Pentacles or Four of Cups. No holding back here. And this beautiful new beginning in the physical between you guys that we saw all over this reading. So wow, congratulations, Leo. I hope this helped. And I'll see you soon. Bye.